Just as one video went live about the artwork on the Way of Water, I see Amazon updated their website with two new images giving us a different look at not only the RDA, but the Metkainen clan as well. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day and I thought it would be easier just to split the videos up, one focusing on the RDA and one focusing on the Metkainen clan. So in this video, I want to focus on that specific page that shows us not only some of the anatomy, but just gives us some detail on the Metkaina clan. Now the image that you see in front of you is the image from the art book that will be released towards the end of the year, likely after the release of the movie, and this gives us somewhat of a different look of the Metkaina clan. As you can see looking at the image on the right hand side, looking at the artwork, we can immediately see something we knew already based on some of the information provided on the Empire Magazine articles and also the end credit or the mid credit scene from Avatar Remastered with where we saw not only the Metkaina, well the, the clan, the kids essentially, but we also saw Tonawari, is that their hands and their arms are very paddle-like, very flat. We also saw that on some of the McFarlane, uh, uh, McFarlane toys, and you can also see their feet and especially the tail there is very fin-like, like almost like a fish-like figure, like because they evolved obviously to swim better in the water. And looking at the left-hand side there, you can see there is a beautiful picture of, of the Metkainen clan swimming in the water. You can see there the tail as well. Very long, basically thin and long, like a, almost like a paddle, almost like a, you know, like a, a flipper or something that you use to swim better. And you can see that they are just going in deep waters, areas where most Navi likely cannot get to because of their capability to swim in the oceans. Now, looking at the drawings on the right hand side, including that 3D model, that uh, 360 spin of a 3D model that we have of a Metkaina clan, you can see, we, I can't really make out what the, the text is saying because it's very, very small and no matter how much I zoom into it, it just uh, keeps getting more blurred. So I can't really see what is said in the, in the in the text, but likely when I buy this art book, I'll have a better understanding of, of what it said. But there you can see the anatomy is really thought out well of the Metkaina clan. It's not really just, you know, creating a 3D model and there you have a different Navi. It's not really James Cameron didn't really just uh, wanted to create a different Navi for the sake of just creating a different looking tribe. It is really a lot of thought put into it in the development of the muscle, the way the the arms are are created, the way the tail connects with the body. You can see there at the bottom there with the tail connecting to the back part of the spine. Everything is really well thought out. It is really there's there's a purpose behind why their feet is shaped that way, why their hands is shaped like that. You can see there on their forearms on the essentially on the right side of their forearms they have this this fin area which helps them to swim to swim better you know you remember as a kid when you had those uh, those things that helped you swim faster and better in the water it's almost something like that where you connect it to your to your hands and your arms that just helps you swim there you can see on the top left sketch there you can see again on the forearm from the back view you can see that it has this fin like area which just helps for the for the mid kind of clan to swim better. And now of course looking at the text on the left side it says quote working through the physiological aspects of the Metkaina Cameron says he ultimately came up with a unique physical trait for the clan that made them incredibly adept in the water as well as powerful swimmers. It's called a strike which are paddle like extensions of the forearm and the lower leg Cameron explains. There are no webbed feet at all so this was a real departure from all all the amphibious or water adapted humanoids you've seen in the past. Lead character designer Joseph Peep took point on figuring out the tail propulsions the Metkaina use in the water so that costumes could eventually be designed around the tails in a way that left them unhampered. We actually built underwater jetpacks and put them on the backs of the performers, Cameron's details. We gave them a switch to hold in their hands so they could kick and then hit the jetpack and glide and wiggle their hips like they had a tail. We called it the crocodile 
while swim because the crocodile moves its butt back as its tail is moving. The actors had to perform as if they had tails. There was a whole aesthetic around the tail where we wondered how to best design their functionality into the costumes and so on. End quote. Now it is quite amazing to, to see that Cameron wanted the actors to perform as if they had tails. You know, m most, you know, modern movies these days, these days just add a, add a CG tail to the characters, to the actors, and then basically they have tails and then that's basically what they have to work with. They just have this, they don't really have a tail, they just uh, basically have a CG tail and it's really incredible to to see that Cameron really pushed this to to the next level made the actors underwater swim with with basically jetpacks and had stuff on them that made them seem like they were actually real Metkayina Navi like so that they can not only swim and perform but act in the water like they would in in the movie now also what's interesting about this this part of this uh, this article or not the article but this this text is that it's called it a uh, that's basically what those webbed areas are, those extensions on the forearms and lower legs are called. I don't think we knew this before. We know now this is new information on the Metkayina clan that we know that they have strakes, which is, like I said, the extensions on their forearm, their legs, and likely the way their tail is, is shaped into a paddle. And on the right side, there is a small text that says below, diving hole concept, opposite left columns, Navi anatomy concept, opposite middle column, character sketches, opposite far right, Metkayina character concept, and finally, overleap, which is likely the big picture, Metkayina village commons at night concept. So we know now that this colorful area where the Metkayina is swimming is their, their village, essentially, underwater village, because we know, based on some of the toys, that their village goes underwater and above water. So quite a bit of information that we got from just this single page, or these two pages, page 150 and 150. 51, which is about the Metkayina clan. It says they're at the very bottom right, the Metkayina clan. So just from these two pages alone, we got so much information about the Metkayina clan. So it makes me wonder what is the rest of the art book about? Because, I mean, it's this being page 150 and 151, there's likely a lot more pages in the art book. So this is going to be a heavy art book that I'm going to go through in, uh, in detail and slow detail when it releases towards the end of the year. Year. But what do you think about this detail of the Metkayina clan and the strike that they call it, this paddle-like feature that the Metkayina clan has? Let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.